Hello, my name is Toby Paik and today is a very special day because it's my birthday. And for those of you who are wondering how old I am, let's just say I'm much younger than the price tag of this new phone case here. This is the Razer Arctech Pro THS Edition Thermafine Layer iPhone case for the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. I didn't know Razer made phone cases and you know my life is all about the flex and fitting in with society so I just thought I had to get this and in order to get this I needed a new phone therefore I bought myself the new iPhone 11 Pro Max which I actually have to take back to the store because uh, the LTE and Wi-Fi doesn't work for some reason so I can't go on Twitter and go on a rant with a stranger anymore so I'm gonna have to sort that out uh, I won't mention any named <coughs> Verizon please sort this out for me as soon as possible but anyway uh, apparently this is for gamers obviously otherwise it just would be a gimmick wouldn't it so yeah just gonna unbox this put it on Let's see how it turns out, shall we? Let's go. Okay. Um, so I think this, yes, this opens up like that in case uh, you don't believe what you're seeing because this is not believable enough. Just in case. You see what I did there? Just in case, yeah? Uh, certified drop protection, it says. I don't know, like, who officially certifies this, like the National Phone Drop Association or something, but I don't know. It's a certified drop prot protection. Supposedly you can drop it up to 10 feet, uh, AKA three meters, it says here, uh, and you'll be fine. But I'm assuming if you go exceed, say 11 feet, then you're basically Easy peasy. Yeah, by the way, this is wireless charging compatible. You can actually do wireless charging by having this case on. So, Razer, thanks for that. An Apple fanboy like me appreciates that sort of effort. Uh, network performance optimized for unhindered connection, apparently. So, yeah, that's exactly the problem I'm having right now. I have no idea what's going on. Someone can tell me what the issue is with this phone not like connecting to LTE or Wi-Fi of any sort. I've tried any, everything like uh, resetting it, turning on and off and so on, but nothing seems to work. So let me know on the comment section how I can fix this. Yep, yeah, vented channels, thermophene layer, like I've mentioned before, all good and dandy. So uh, that can go away. The green, I'm not sure if the camera is doing any justice, but the green on this case is actually really much more cool and nice looking. It's very sort of neon Nick. Is that even a word? It's a very strong poppin' green. Just comes off like that. Easy, boom. Uh, no stickers, no nothing. I I'm disappointed, but I will. It's fine. Yep, and of course it has to say at the bottom here again, for gamers by gamers. Does that mean a bunch of kids playing World of Warcraft in the basement, like assemble this case or something? I don't know. We will never know, but. Uh, quality, let's look at the quality. Pretty good, pretty nice. Uh, definitely better than those like aftermarket, like, uh, $10 cases that you can get from like Target or something. Definitely uh, put in that effort in that sense. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, what was it? The Death Adder mouse or something by Razer. So yeah, let's just put it on. It looks like it's, it's gonna substantially um, thicken my phone. So yeah, put this on fairly easy. It looks really nice, to be honest. 
power button is really nice and no like struggle whatsoever. I've had issues with other cases before where it's like really hard to like push all these buttons. Volume buttons are like, yeah, they're very smooth. All good. Uh, grip wise, I'm not sure if it's like one of those things where I have to sort of like ease into it, but right now it is fairly slippery. But then again, this is not a like the Apple silicon case or anything like that. So gotta understand that. But yeah, basically thickness. It has become quite substantially thicker, uh, but it's by no means like uncomfortable. I actually brought a ruler to actually measure this. If I measure this like that, it's just about one centimeter. If you don't use centimeter metrics, if you don't understand that, just Google it, man. Just Google, just convert it. It's Google, guys, it's 2019, come on. Uh, so yeah, just under, slightly under one centimeters, which really isn't that bad, I guess. But yes, I'm not gonna be able to test this out because I don't have any professional equipment to actually test out whether the heat actually uh, gets sort of vented out through these holes, whether uh, it keeps the phone cool. And mostly, I'm just too lazy to do that. Basically, I just bought this case to look cool. And you know, when you're on a date or something, when you're with a female, you can impress the females. Uh, in particular, you can be like, oh hey, not only do I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, you see this big logo here? Guess what that is? Razer, my friend. That means not only am I a competitive professional gamer, I'm also a guy who can splash out over $1,000 on a phone. So best of both worlds regarding flexworthiness. Yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you do have any questions about this case, please don't ask me on the comment section because I have very little to no technical information about this product. Like I said, I just bought this because it just looks cool and it is cool and it feels nice. That's all I can tell you, like honestly. It looks nice, It look, it's just a very different style uh, for me because I've only been using uh, official Apple cases before for my previous iPhones. So this is a fresh change in appearance anyway. And also it signifies, like I said before, that I am a gamer. Speaking of gaming, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch, Toby Paik. Uh, I just stream there. Nothing substantial, I just stream there for fun. I mean, if you're bored, I mean, it's a fairly free world. So feel free to subscribe to Twitch and feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Really not a bad case uh, if you're a fan of Razer and you want to represent and you want to flex on those <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the price point as well. Um, I thought it, this was going to be like, like $80 or something, but it's really not. It's like a standard phone case price, which is great. So, there we go. Thanks for watching, until next time, peace.